All right, I'm going to now show you how to uh, paint some trees and so on in here. So we're going to go under vegetation and we're going to look at trees. And so I'm going to select a couple. So now you could just click and drag one in, see what it looks like, and maybe just place it there. Now, if you hit the control key, let's say I have, I want this, this, and this. So what will happen is when I click, it'll place, every time I click, it places a different tree. So that's a quick way to, to do that. Uh, you know, and I kind of like more control, but maybe that's a trick that some of you will like. And I'll show, show another trick in a second here. So what I want to do is not only will I put some trees down, I'm going to put some bushes down and maybe you put these around like this. Now I might put a road there, so I'll wait. So, but there's a much better way to paint. Rocks is another really good thing to put down. So maybe put that down here and you can change the size of that by selecting it. Um, when you put it down, you'll see it show up here. Now it might be a good idea to create a container no, let's update. I want to um, delete that one here. Delete. Um, let's go to the top here. Create sub container. We're going to go items to decorate. So, what we can do is all these items here, just put them in this so that it's not so messy. All right. So, that's a really good idea. Uh, but I want to show you something called populate. So under populate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a bunch of grass and flowers, but I could choose trees as well. Why don't I choose trees just to keep it simple because we're doing trees right now. So I want to have some of these trees, some of these trees, and maybe this one too. And what I want to do now is go and get, oh, I put it under, I want it under paint. My mistake, not scatter. Not sure what that one does. Maybe somebody can show me. It's a new one. So then you can enlarge this with the diameter and the density. Let's see if there's a density here. I do not see the density. Should be a button for density. But you can decorate off in a distance so that it looks nicer. And, you know, maybe as you get closer, you can do different things. I'll stop there. So I'm creating a little forest. And why don't I go and do the same thing here, but with grass and flowers. So down here, there's some nice flowers. So what I can do is just get rid of all of these. Uh, click. Must be an easier way to do this here. So right click. Delete, right click, delete, right click, delete. So I'm going to put these flowers in my populate. So they're really nice. Put these two. So what I'm going to do now, same thing, paint. Oh, I just realized that if I delete, does this stay in? Hmm, so that's something unusual. Not sure what happened when I deleted the uh, vegetation It deleted it. So let's uh, sort that out. Uh, but for now, just decorate your scene and use different techniques that I talked about. Uh, make the outside, you're decorating the environment at this point. And we're going to start decorating the inside of the house soon. But what I want to do is focus on the environment. And, you know, a few things before I finish. Under the uh, animations, I believe there are some kind of cool little things. You can add some animals. Uh, maybe you want this donkey in the forest. And that's a thing that you have. And I'm going to go see, did I really delete the, those trees? I'll press the F key, bring me back to the donkey that I had selected. Yeah, I think when I deleted that, it deletes. There must be a way around that. And this is just, it renders in when you see it. So, I wonder if I change to path. For now, that's good enough. If you have any other questions, please let me know.